My name is Rapsomy, welcome back to West of Loathing. We've finished this quest in the Petting Cemetery. Uh, maybe it's time to go to another cemetery. Don't we have another cemetery that we needed to get to? Up here in Reboot Hill. Over the side of a road, you spot a lone and gloomy grave marker. With a lone and gloomy man in a black robe, digging up the grave with a shovel. Hey, what are you doing? The hooded man looks at you. Uh, sorry, the hooded, hooded figure, rather, looks at the two of you. Looks back at the shovel, looks at the grave, and looks back to you. Don't really need to explain. You're gonna need a tracheotomy, 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 to quip through after I suture all your damn face all shut. You, I think she means why are you doing it? It's for necromancy practice, right? I mean, you gotta get the body from somewhere. That's despicable. Shrug. I said that as a word, it wasn't an action. Shrug. This is the necromancer's territory now. Your moral obligation ain't my concern. Did you really just say shrug? That's it, let's kill him. I'm gonna convince him it's pointless. You take a closer look at the grave marker and chuckle. Buddy, you ain't gonna get much out of this grave. This is one of those markers they put up to commemorate the site of road accidents. There's no body buried here. What, really? Well, crap. Give me that shovel and scram while I fix your dumb mess. You respectfully fill the hole back in while the cultist slouches away, grumbling. Should've just plugged him. We get a shovel. Okay, we've had a couple of our shovels die beforehand, so good to have a backup. Alright, now the second plot here has a safe that we want to crack. Yes. Beautiful. Tombstone is big as fancy, and there is a safe embedded in it. Okay. I'm going to bring back over my previous sheet upon which I was recording all of the information. Uh, you pull a stethoscope, crack your knuckles, and perform a complicated grave robbery. Inside there is a document and a weird metal object. Okay, we get uh, Philip Iron Gloat. Philip Iron Gloat. Okay, beautiful. O I E. H T E. Okay. Huh. And we will take the object. Key fragment. Beautiful. Now, let's assemble the key. We get the Tontine key. This is a key assembled out of the bits you found in the big fancy tombstones in Reboot Hill. Now I gotta figure out where this goes. Boot Hill. Okay, hang on, this reads something. If I just read down... So, uh, the first letter of the first one, then the first letter of the second one, the first letter of the third one, right? So, it says, Boot Hill 8 8 H-T-R-E-E 8-3 I think it might be 8-3. Boot Hill. Definitely says Boot Hill. E-I-G-H-T. 8. H-T-R-E-E. -E. That's... H-T-R-E-E -E is not a real thing. 8th Tree! Boot Hill 8th Tree! I'm so dumb! Alright, fine. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bingo! Strange, there's a keyhole in the trunk of this tree. Unlock it with the Tontine key, we get the Tontine treasure chest. This chest was hidden behind a secret door in the trunk of a tree in Reboot Hill. We open it and we get an unbreakable ruby. The chest contains a lone but extremely large gemstone and a document describing a tontine, which you apparently won despite not even signing up for it. LOL. That was written on the card, I don't say that as a, <laughs> as a point of reference, just so you know. Alright, hang on. Was there not a lock that I wanted to pick around this area? Apparently not. Okay. So we've done a hell of a lot already. This whole side of the map, I'm pretty certain, is completed several times over. There's something that I want to sleep and then go back and do, but that's about it. 
Man is more mine. Maybe I just go back down to that. Start working my way back up from the bottom. Sounds good. Your El Vibrato device tells you that there is some free scrap around here. Oh, shit. We got a battery by itself. That's actually super helpful. You won't one of us be gone from this place, interloper. Now you know something bad is going down. Nobody good uses the word interloper. Hold the swoggle her. Chill, chill. I just don't have my mask on. I forgot it here after the last time. Oh, yeah? Where's your proof? Proof that I left it here. Well, I'm not wearing it, am I? Which, obviously, I would be if I had it with me. Uh, come on, let me in. I don't want to miss a thing. All right, fine, but don't forget your mask this time. Uh, all right. I think I actually have one of those masks. Cultist mask. Let's forage the ever-loving hell out of those. The cultist ignores you. You don't like this one bit. The cultist ignores you. The spiraling shape is making you feel weird. You don't like this one bit. The cultist ignores you. You don't like this one bit. The cultist ignores you. You don't like this one bit. The spiral ignores you. You've got a square for a head, bud. Cultist ignores you. Spiral makes you feel uncomfortable. You don't like the spiral. The cultist ignores you. I'm going mad. I need something different to happen. It says, Dear Jeff. Jeff. Sorry. The big guy says, Stay out here. Praise be Roberto. Sincerely, Jeff spelt without a no. Your El Vibrato transponder goes crazy when you get near these rocks. Your deft picking leads a ladder towards the subsurface. Uh, the, uh, the screen says clothing cha cha chano. Headwear cha cha chano. Zomzak Bunok headwear cha cha chano. Zeveronoko Chachachano or Bukrugzo Chachachano. Let's go headwear Chachachano. Uh, the Elvarado scraps in your pack vibrate, so you stick them in the slot, but nothing happens. Must not be enough. Ah, oh, okay, so this is for creating certain different kinds of Elvarado device. Got it. Big cylinder, we'll take that one. Grab a bunch of those complicated cards. A pile of broken machinery. Alright. Have I got enough for a headwear? I do! Uh, the El Vibrato scraps... Yikes. In your pack vibrate, so you cram some of them into the hole. After 10, the shot closes and reopens, having converted your garbage into a hat. That's for 11 spell damage. I don't feel like I'm all to use that at all. Maybe ever. Let's start moving our way back up. Fort Memoriam, what you got? Uh, sure. Really didn't matter what hit it there. Okay. I'm glad to be filling out my party. Thank you, Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill, for coming along with us. Putting on your hat for extra cold, re uh, hot resist, rather. Let's change our hat back as well. Da, 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 da. Beautiful fake Pope hat. Put that on. Have a look around from here. I think there was a lock. Was there something locked around here? Study them! The rule book. Study them with my 25 mysticality. You learn something and we get frightening topics in Nexmex. Gets the raise a skeletal thrall. Getting smarter about Nexmex means being able to summon skeletons that are smarter at doing what you say. We also get 50 EXP. You pour over the rules until you understand them perfectly enough to realize they're in for an entirely different game. They're for an entirely different game than these guys are actually playing. Oh well, at least you learn something. Useful. As you're about to walk away from the shelf, you notice a book that definitely doesn't belong there. Right. Uh, sounds pretty dangerous. Are you certain the dark arts are no laughing matter? We got a perk. Raise a skeletal thrall. Examine skull chips in your inventory to enchant them. The book is ma uh, full of magic spells, which don't make any sense of you until you get to the next to last chapter and realize they're not spells for you to cast, but spells for a skeleton to cast. One of the appendices mentions in passing how to summon such a skeleton. 
Uh, we get thin blood, negative 10 HP. Your blood darkens and curdles. Are we going to die as a result of all of the stuff that we keep doing? Asking for a friend who is me. All right. Start zigzagging our way back up this map. We get a perfumed pot uh, pocket square. It goes on lapel for scent resistance. Okay. Also got grave dirt for increasing our spooky resistance. Hmm. Keep it in mind. Don't feel I'll uh, actually be using it though. Uh -huh. I learned there was something I wanted to say near a portal like this, but I guess I don't actually have the ability to do anything about it right now. Right, this doesn't count as a skeleton for her. I like that we've got someone who just does of their own accord a shot. That's really handy. I kind of want more of that. I want more of these friendos that deal for things themselves. Uh, you run across a poor jackrabbit with his leg caught in a bear trap. That's for bears, little guy. You shouldn't be in there. You pry open the trap and the jackrabbit scurries away to freedom. Or to get eaten by a coyote. Either way, you've done your good deed for the day. We get 40 experience. Not sure. Uh, we've got a lot of experience left over. Ooh. Man. This your lady who could be real good. I almost want to upgrade Shoot Nanny, but really doesn't seem that good. Mm. Maybe if I upgrade Shoot Nanny twice, it'll be good. It does roll my gun, and my gun, on average, is going to be you know, pretty worthwhile to use because I keep buffing the ever-loving shit out of it. Alright, make uh, combat items. Start with a Venom Gland. Add some medicine. Extra venomous bullet oil. Beautiful. I don't really think I want to continue with that. West Pole, what up over here? Uh, open up the crates. Ooh, five bars of soap. That's really handy. Also got a branding ring for plus five Mr. Ca uh, plus seven mysticality, rather. This ring is searing hot, but enchanted such that it won't burn your fingers. It was invented for, a ranch, uh, for ranchers who wanted to brand their cattle by punching them. Sheesh, no wonder the cows came home. You know what? I'm on the side of the cows now. I'm fighting for the cows. No pills, smelling salt, and blood building tonic. Nature is weird. All right, something mystical. Yeah, all right, we got a song, uh, perk, a song of spheres. You can hear stones singing in your head all the time. It's kind of annoying. And then something powerful, an impregnable tower. We get a lot of stone. Your circulation system, or rather your circulatory system, is partly stone now, which makes your blood even more thicker than water than regular blood. Right. Um, I'm gonna go... I can probably make these into something specific to solve a puzzle later. But for the moment, I'm just going to make them look nice. Alright, some more loco weed extract. Uh, if I recall correctly, we're still fucked off our minds, so that's going to be... That's going to be good for us. Possibly see some new things. Uh, it was hot resistance that I needed here, but I have hot resistance by base, right? Now, if I recall correctly, this is an area that actually had vibrato. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay, leave the machine. Can't do anything about that. No one says that. Uh, we don't even have a keystone. God damn it. Thought I had a keystone. Alright, I guess I go get myself a keystone and come back. For the moment, though, I'm just gonna bop these fools. Okay, beauty. 
cost. Huge snake. Nothing particularly good caused from that. All right. Now, I've forgotten how best to actually get... Hmm. This is a shame. I've forgotten how best I actually get the... Watch my columns. You know what I mean, right? No? You don't at all? The scrap. It's gotta be in the Lost Dutch Oven Mine, if I recall correctly. The one that is most annoying to access, because I have to keep changing stuff in my inventory. Do I have anything that I could drink or eat? Just to give myself some stench resistance here? Yeah, I probably do. I hate that I can't control that with my... Arrow keys. Alright. Come on. Really? Come on. It's somewhere here. Has to be. Really? Is there nothing here that will increase my resistance here? God damn. There's a lot of things I have to imagine that I could eat. Yeah, stewed snake will give me the hot resist. But of course, my stomach is already full. Alright, fine. I guess we're swapping out a freaking something for something again. What about so we gas mask? And then swap that back over. I gotta remember how to get into my inventory. It's I. As one might otherwise imagine. Beautiful. Show me the key cards. Also, where do I cash in these key cards? I have cashed them in before. But I've forgotten exactly how I accomplished that. Hmm... Okay, we've already interacted with these. Beautiful. So push that. Ah, there we go. Push the third one. Summon some friendos. They don't look friendly, but neither am I. Alright, beautiful. They actually can't deal any damage to me. It's excellent. Alright. It's actually at the point that it's it's space bar time. Just spamming space bar is going to get it ultimately done faster. It will be more actions to do, but it will ultimately get it done faster. Okay, that gave us a key card as well as some some punch cards. So that's handy. But on top of that, it also gave us scrap. Hell, I couldn't be happier. I'm chuffed to bits. Alright, and once more, the ones in the nosebleeds. Beautiful. Come on, summon three. It's kind of annoying how much of this that I need. Guess I'm just going to be fighting these until the day I die. Which at this rate, uh, never. It will be never. My understanding is that I am immortal. If we only ignore the multiple times earlier in the game that I died. That's another keystone. So at this point, I want batteries more than keystones because I've already got three more keystones. So I guess now I'm fighting to get twice as much scrap as I wanted prior because now what's on the line is uh, batteries, which cost me twice as much. Oh, well. Can't say I'm too saddened by it. Okay. As soon as I get to 30, I think I'm okay here. So I'll check that as soon as we finish this fight, in fact. It's time for... It's time for too fast combat mode. 
Too fast, too furious, let's get it done and over with. Spam it on that button. Beautiful. Alright, leave them be for a moment. Uh, punch guards. Okay, you know what? I will settle for 20, but I'm not settling for only one spawned battery. Unfortunate, but true. Gotta have some standards to live by. <clears throat> Alright, we done here? Beautiful. There we go. Leave him be. Let's go to the professor's house. Excellent. Anything you want to say? Not at all. Alright, let's get a battery and then a battery. Shit, we got three batteries apparently. Huh. I didn't know we had that much scrap. Oh! I was counting my punch guards. Whoops! Alright, well, we've got four keystones and four batteries. That's not bad whatsoever. So... I think Humming Cave... Oh, nice. Humming Cave had some stuff that I could do there with it. If I recall correctly, it was a place for me to trade in some of my key cards. It's also possible I am not recalling correctly at all. I need to start remembering these places a little more accurately. Huge cave in at some point. Huge cave in at some point. All right, cool. That uh, actually doesn't have anything for me. All right, let's go to the Lost Dutch Oven Mine. Ooh, some more gold teeth. Grave of Flask and a handful of old coins. Those gold teeth are actually going to come in handy. I should be able to trade those to one of the... Folks, what is in the encampment, the hippie encampment. Alright, hang on. Hang on. We'll get the fake Popat back on. Don't you worry, you pretty little dome about it. It's just very important to me that I get all of this vibrato stuff done as soon as I possibly can. Because it seems like this is the most important thing I can be doing right now. To me, at least. Okay. Uh, no. Seems like buttons. Yeah, I get it. Something's busted. We already fixed that. We have another rectangle that, that can go somewhere else, I guess. Well, never mind. Whatever is in here, we've already done. Great. So where was I even mining? Was it soup stock? It was soup stock, wasn't it? While we're going down to soup stock, let's pass Coal Ridge. Get some dynamite. For our troubles. This was another one of them, right? Oh, look at the triangles. There is some business going on over there. I just cannot determine what yet. So shadow here, cast by nothing. Beautiful. Mm, all right, that's going to be an entrance or the one upstairs is going to be an entrance to another vibrato. Unfortunately, I am not supposed to know that yet, so I guess... Oh, I have no clue what that's talking about. In character. Can't metagame it. Okay, some more laudanum. Madness, more mine. Ah, oh, okay. Never mind. I don't even have to be wearing the cultist mask. They just cool with me. Glad to see it. Alright. Wasn't there something I was gonna... Interact with here? Huh. Nope. 
Okay, we don't have enough for anything, pretty much. So this is a cash-in point. It's not actually a discovery point. Soup stock load? Grab by the horns. Fight it. I've entirely forgotten in the last 20 seconds what was in soup stock load. Yes. I am that scattered. Constantly. It's really difficult to try and keep track of all of the different unique things in each location. Uh, but I promise I'm trying. Not very hard, evidently, but I'm trying. Alternatively, I just do not. I, I'm, I'm no good at keeping a ridiculous amount of things in my head at the same time. But this is one of the places I wanted to be. El Vibrato Fluid. The pentagram of El Vibrato device contains some sort of sloshy fluid. Okay. We have interacted with something that needed a pentagram before. Okay, cool. Uh, pentagonal aperture on the side of the machine. Uh, Croker's Chodzak. Uh, fluid Stazak refreshment. We get a food cube. It increases your muscle mysticality and moxie by five. Okay. We get El Vibrato Rum. Increases your item and meat drop bonuses by 30% for the rest of the day. Okay. Refreshment, we get seltzer. Unfortunately, we have nothing more to give to the machine. Well, we've learned a little about the food that they eat. Let's go on to the Curious Copes. New place. Uh, your vibrato transponder is beeping slowly and quietly. Medium tempo and volume? Oh. This thing looks pretty tough and pretty attentive. We've got the jump on him this time. We get four vibrato scraps. Beautiful. The beeping is at a deafening volume. Oh, hello. Whereabouts are we? There's some graffiti scratched onto the side of the machine next to a single big button. It says refreshment five. Nautilusive 6. Press the button. A harsh buzz is emitted, nothing more. Okay, we'll charge up the area. We get bracelet cannon and north. The understanding of those. Man, we have so many energized effects. We are fucking powerful. Okay. North Central, Zakasomo, purchase of a beggar. Stakazom, Bustan detected. Pipeline? Fluid pipeline. Butchnik. Okay, I have no clue how we want to interact with this. I'm just hitting buttons. We will come back when we have a further understanding of the language. Alright, Jumble Neck Mine, what do you got? I have to imagine more of the same, right? Anything that I have a battery for or a pentagram for. Okay, we have nothing that we can throw into it. And I guess... Maybe... Yeah, no, this is just a disposal pit. Ever loot this? I did. Okay. <sighs> See, I think the reason I'm annoyed is there's nothing that I can really do right now. I've got to solve the problems for the people in Mayor, uh, the Mayor of Breadwood, rather. But I've solved a lot of his problems before I asked him about his problems. So I think I may have screwed up that line. Ghostwood, I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in the area. Sounds like a job for the Department of Administration. All right. What up, Department of Administration? Jeez, I'm here on the behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. He needs to do some logging in the area. 
I see. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Just need to review the logging records and make sure there's no disqualifying incidents. Just go to the Department of Records two doors down and tell them I need the breadwood file pertaining to logging. Dot dot dot. Is something wrong? Not yet. I'm just stealing myself in anticipation. Supposed to pick up a file on the town of Breadwood? Oh, you want the Department of Records? It's next door. This is the adjunct Department of Records. Okay. Supposed to pick up a file. One moment, please. Breadwood, Applewood, Antiwood, Badwood. Did you mean Bagelwood? No. Breadwood. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood, Bestwood, Bitterwood, Bloodwood. Ah, here we are. Breadwood. What did you need? Obituaries. You mean the ghost birth announcements? Here you go. I can't read this. It's just a, uh, different sizes of O's. You don't read ghost? Actually, what I really need is local gossip. Ooh, this one's pretty juicy. I'm afraid you need full residency status before I can share it with you, though. Oh. All right, give me the logging records. Hmm, that section has been downgraded from disuse. You'll have to pick it up from the adjunct department of records next door. Naturally. Bring it back here when you've got it, and I'll put it in the official interdepartment document transfer folder for you. Is that really necessary? Absolutely! You can't transfer documents between departments without an interdepartment document transfer folder. It's unthinkable. Fine. Fine. Great, which file? The logging reports for the town of Breadwood. All right, uh, here we are. Um, but these pages are all loose. I can give them to you if you like, but what if they blow away? I'm just taking a nice little, they'll be fine. No, no, what if there's a freak gust of wind as soon as you leave here? It'll be chaos. Well, fortunately, I happen to be the one person in town officially authorized to use a stapler. So you'll staple one for me. I'd be glad to, but but I don't have a stapler. Of course you don't. Don't worry, all you need to go is the Department of Requisitions next door and requisition one. So if I bring you a stapler, you'll give me the file. Yup, done. Fuck. Oh, can I get something for you? I need to requisition a stapler. All right, we'll need to fill out the requisition form. I figured name. Ugh. Tame. Puddin. Trouble. Alright, it checks out cake or pie, your desert preference. Cake or pie. Well, actually, I prefer what does it have to do with uh, fuck it. Pie. <sighs> well, despite that, everything seems to be in order. Look, I'm a cake man through and through. Depends on the cake. Depends on the pie. Not actually really much for a savory dessert. I prefer more of a, a breaded dessert. Just pastry. I I guess pastry can't be savory anything. Sweet is what I meant. I always get sweet and savory mixed up. Anyhow, uh, well, despite that, everything seems to be in order. Here's your ghost stapler. Great, thanks. Wouldn't ghost stables just go right through? Okay, I got you a stapler. And that logging report now. You bet, Kachunk, here you go. Freshly stapled and wind resistant. Breadwood logging report. It's a report on Breadwood's past logging activity. Now you just have to pick up the folder you're supposed to carry it in. Back with the papers. Here you are. The interdepartment document transfer folder for you. Uh, this is the report that you had to fetch in a folder. Beautiful. Let's go all the way back. God, this area. Hello, Mr. Tame. How can I be of service? I got that file for you. Breadwood logging records. What's wrong? This idiot stapled the pages right together in the middle. This is why we took his damn stapler away in the first place. This file is unreadable. You're going to have to tell it. Take it back to him and tell him to unstaple it. Oh my. God. Administration wants you to unstaple these papers. Oh, sorry. I'm only authorized for stapling, not unstapling. Try the Department of Records. I think they have an unstapler there. Department of Records. I need some papers unstapled. I'm a fully authorized unstapler. It's just that I don't see the staple remover anywhere. That's right. The Department of Libations borrowed it to open beer bottles. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm going to need that staple remover. Sure have it. Thing pops off uh, tops from beer bottles like you wouldn't believe. So long as it removes staples, I'll be happy. I imagine it does. But I'm not authorized to use it for unstapling. You'll have to take it back to the Department of Records. Here you are. Here's your staple remover back. Beautiful. Uh, tsk, tsk, adjunct records up to his old tricks again. I see these don't even need to be stapled. And that's what the interdepartment document transfer folder is for, after all. All right, here we go. I'm back. I don't see any problems with this. Beautiful. Let's get started on the paperwork for that logging permit. I am no longer amazed. <laughs> Tame. Put in. Trouble. Sign here. Now you sign it here. And also here. And initial here. And here. And sign here. Good. 
Now you just have to take this back to the mayor of Brentwood and get him to sign on this line here and initial over here. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to do that. Fine. Fine. Got the jump on him. Blow him all away. Blow us all away. Got him. Alright, Breadwood. We've solved one of your problems. Alright, ghost paper, that stuff is weird. I think I need a ghost pencil for this. Loan him your pencil here. You can borrow mine. Sign here and initial over here. After some fumbling with the ghostly pencil, the man eventually manages to sign and initial the form. Right, I'll be back with the permit. God willing. Oh, boy. I, you know what? I have to admit, commitment to the joke. I appreciate it. But also... Good lord! You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna sharpen the pencil before I get there, because they're gonna ask me to. I haven't got any pencils to sharpen. Alright, never mind. Apparently I have lost my pencil. I left it with the mayor. I can be of service. I got the mayor's signature. Right now, just sign this last line at the bottom where it says receipt. It's something wrong. You cover your hand, uh, face with your hands. I loaned my pencil to the mayor. Oh. Excuse me while I go kill everything. Hey, you know what? Saw it coming, though. Give me that much. I clearly saw that coming. Alright. Hey, Vibrato Scrubs. Yay. I'm just gonna have to act like my soul isn't dying. Excuse me, ma. You have my ghost pencil. Terribly sorry, I think it's haunting my beard. Here you go, sharpen ghost pencil. I'm gonna sharpen it on my way back just in case. Alright. It's already sharp enough. If you grind it down to number two, it might cause a problem. Good. I'm glad it's sharp enough. Because every girl's crazy for a sharp dressed pen. Alright. <clears throat> I got it. Scribble. Finally, wonderful processing will take about 48 hours where everything has to be filed and the actual permit has to be printed and so on. You can pick it up in two days. See, there's so much stuff that I have to do in two days that it might be worth my time to just go to sleep for about um, two days. We'll see, though. Postal way station. Anything I can do here. No trespassing. Let's trespass. Go through the newspapers, naturally. Um... Right, I have to go to Dirtwater to learn more about this. There's actually a lot of stuff that I gotta lo uh, learn about in Dirtwater. I've made a band. I think I have a band in Dirtwater now. Alright, Dirtwater. Nope, I haven't found you anything, buddy. Post office. Hello, friend. Uh, hey, I need some help tracking down some missing mail. How'd you mean? Our mail delivery went missing on the way to Breadwood, and I'm hunting it on behalf of their mayor. The local mail, sta uh, mail station has a bunch of route maps, but I don't know which ones I need. Mm. Well, that information ain't exactly secret, but I'm supposed to give it out either. The delivery going missing is bad news, though. I suppose it's alright just this once. Wait here a sec. Alright, so each map has a code number on it, you see? Based on the region direction of travel. She explains how to work the code you need and gives you a cheat sheet for reference. Thank her and leave. Alright, I want to send a postcard. You already sent a postcard today, aren't you heard? Ain't you heard of the Postcard Limitation Act of 1893? Alright, so the government put a restriction on prepaid postcards of just one per citizen per day. Now, why do you think that might be? Well, to reduce strain on the postal system. Nope! That's what everyone guessed, but that ain't a thing. The wagons still make the trip no matter how many postcards are on board. Unless we're talking so many postcards, you need a second wagon, but that ain't likely. So, uh, to restrict the free flow of information, to keep the people from being able to say too much through the mail, and the left end of the territory doesn't know what the right end is doing, and vice versa. That way they can implement a different rule of law in every area, whatever's most effective to keep particular folks down. But people can still send letters. Pfft, letters. Who got time to write out a whole letter in this day and age? But, oh, I ain't even got to the big part yet. What's the first two letters in conspiracy, huh? C-O-O-Cheese. That's right! 
They're in league with the cows. It's all a plot to keep us docile so they can deliver us up to these hail cows when they're summoned. You think the government deliberately summoned the cows? There's proof. The plan was referred to in a rider attached to the Senate Farm Aid bill that passed 11 years ago. And when did the farms get the cars come home? It's right, 11 years. There's no way a Senate bill says, let's summon cows from hell on it. No, not in so much obvious words. You're correct. It's all in code and dog whistles like. Go look it up yourself. All right, even if I wanted to do that, the capital city isn't even in this territory. It's hundreds of miles away. Uh-huh. And you think that's just a coincidence? Okay, well, that's very interesting. Goodbye forever. You told me about it. Yes, I've heard of it. Alright. Jo- uh, Tony. Uh, Tony's rather. Oh, hey, hi, nice to see you again. Hey, did the elves make the trip okay? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, no problems, like, it, uh, at all. Uh, I've just been seeing them less and less since the move, so I've just been making boots myself just to, to, to help them out. That's really nice of you. A guy set up brewery next door and I was like, uh, so, like, if you had beard, like, right there in the boots? So, uh, yeah. Interesting. So, uh, what can I get for you? Show me your goods. Ah, these are some boots. Boot polish, add three speed to a pair of boots. I gotta get that. Beer soaked boots. <gasps> Shooting boots! Oh man, I'm gonna be the boot scooting baby, driving me crazy, my obsession for a western to dance all day. All right, come on, let's go. What am I wearing now? Eight pistol attack damage. Oh, thank you very much, that's gonna be what I go with. You thoroughly polish the boots until you can see your reflection in them, only your reflection is moving slightly more quickly than you are. Oh. <clears throat> Hang on, what was this guy's name again? Voice, rather? I think it was like super back of the throat, like, Oh, hey, you. Thanks for telling me about this place instead of arresting me. You're shooting me in the head and then arresting me. <clears throat> no, that's completely wrong. You know what? His voice is now super English. <laughs> well, you sure did help me out. I really appreciate the opportunity. Things are going pretty well. Not a single yeast monster yet. What can I get you? Show me your goods. Right, Mr. Gallaty Muscle LB Kulsh. You were never so quite sure how to pronounce Kulsh, but drinking this special microbrew makes you understand that only dogs care about pronunciation. That's Grolsh, right? There's a reference there has to be. Not a girl show two in my time. Not a bad drop, as far as I'm concerned. Not at all. All right, Jules Saloon. I want to see the band. Yeah, we're fucking jamming now. The thing it needs is a second person playing the cowbell. What I'm saying is it needs additional performance of that instrument. What did you think I was going to say? I think I might actually just straight up sleep for two days right now. I'm so angry. Fuck it. I'm sleeping twice. Day six. Back to bed. <laughs> oh, that's a sad simulation of my own life. <clears throat> now, I got a lot of pe uh, effects that I'm going to want to pick up. So, let's start thinking about that. Food cubed. You eat it without pleasure. You feel like your physical health has been multiplied by itself and then multiplied by itself again. Feud. Food has been... Food cubes. Yeah. I, I get you. I'm picking up what you're putting down on that front. Thank you, friend. Uh, clown sausage, leathery dog, saucy dog. Ooh, baby. All right. Which of these is actually most beneficial for me? Difficulty hit is good, but I don't know if it's good enough. Hard tack, increase my armor. I could eat the lead pie. 
I'm gonna be around for a while, fuck it. I'm gonna eat the lead pie. You get shot full of pie holes. You eat bullets and spit shrapnel. Literally, you did the exact same thing that I just said. Alright. Item and meat drop bonuses increased by 30% for the rest of the day. That sounds good. Rum Rummager. Unlike rum of human origin, the stuff clarified your vision. Increase your overall level of motivation to succeed. We dodged a bullet there. Um, rather than going... Muscle and mysticality by five for the rest of the day. Hmm. Fortified snake wine might be a good idea. Bottle of ghost beer will definitely do that. Beer ghosted. I guess this confirms there is beer in heaven. I'm going to use my most powerful things. Simply because by the time I need to use another, I'll probably have something more powerful. Drink the fortified snake wine. Snake wine fortified. Your body, is thick, uh, your body has been thickened slightly by the booze you drank. Or maybe you're just swollen up from all the poison in it. El Vibrato Seltzer. We get an effect sparkling. Beautiful. Alright. Baccarat Galactarius. We'll make sure that we can see everything just in case. Ranch dressing could be good. I guess you probably shouldn't drink it. Like, drinking cow-related things is probably the way to alienate the... What's her name? Sarah Cochrane? Susie Cochrane, rather. Whereas what I'm doing with learning so much in terms of the dark arts is the way to alienate the person that we currently have. All right, I'm gonna go ranch dressing, ranch dressing, and then I want damage. Nothing is increasing my range damage right now. All right, sugar guns increase your range damage by three, fine. All right. So if that's the best that I can do right now, and it does appear to be, we have Cleared the day marks. So now where do I go? It's a new day. It's a new life for me. You know, seems like the kind of thing that I might have to figure out in the next episode. For the moment, though, my name is Ben Rhapsody, the name of the game. It's been West of Loathing. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.